So can you guess what time it is? That's right, it's Timu time, again. Uh, I have become a little bit addicted to Timu and I'm not afraid to admit it, and I'm sure I'm not alone in that. You guys, if you are someone like myself who loves to shop Timu and also watch Timu hauls, then this video is definitely for you. I wanna thank Timu so much for sponsoring today's video and I can't wait to share my wish list with you guys. It's a good one. Uh, I've got a little bit of everything here, some home decor. I've got some baking uh, items. I've even got a seasonal item, a little Halloween um, action going on. And yeah, I just love Timu. If you're not aware of what Timu is, which I can't believe anyone at this point wouldn't know what Timu is, but just in case you don't, it's basically an online marketplace where you can find amazing deals on great products for the fraction of the price that you would find elsewhere like Amazon, for instance, um, you'd be hard pressed to find deals like you can on Timu. And if you wanna use this code um, by clicking on the link that I'll provide for you in the description and also in the pinned comments, um, use that code and that'll get you in on a $100 coupon bundle so you can save yourself even more money. So yeah, I don't know what you're waiting for. You also get uh, free shipping, free returns up to 90 days. So there's really no risk involved. And uh, yeah, it is so much fun. I will warn you though, it's very addicting. So you might wanna set yourself kind of a little limit and try to stay within that, but good luck on that. <laughs> so I can't wait to share with you the items that I got. So let's get into this haul. So I'm gonna begin with the items that I guess you would call kitchen slash baking items, I guess. <laughs> so first of all, I have this set of nonstick baking liners or oven liners. Now I have something similar to these already, but mine are actually getting old and kind of ratty and I wanted to get a new set. So these you can use to line the bottom of your oven so that when you have anything boil over or you know cheese bubbles over or anything like that, you know how it gets baked on and burned on to the bottom of your oven and really difficult to remove? Well, these things are amazing for that. You can just place them right on the bottom of your oven underneath the element. They are good up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and they are super easy to clean and wash. Basically, if you get stuff burnt on here, it basically just kind of crumbles off. You can kind of just squish it together and flake it off. But these aren't only useful for, you know, lining the bottom of your oven. You can actually use these to bake on. You can put them in your barbecue and you can put, you know, kebabs and different things on there to grill with. Um, but what I like using these for is actually making pizzas in my oven. I'll just put like the thin crust right on top of this mat, load it all up, and then you can easily take it into and put it on your, you know, right into your oven. And then clean up is an absolute breeze. These also are uh, dishwasher safe. And uh, yeah, I love these things. And like I say, I just looked on Timu's site and you can get both of these liners right now for around $4. So if you've never tried anything like these, these things are amazing. They feel exactly like the same kind of thickness and quality of the ones that I've had for years. And I just keep using them over and over again, washing them, cleaning them. They're awesome. They would also make great gifts. Uh, how awesome would this be in like a little home warming gift for you know a young couple just starting out? Like I said, not only can you just use it for lining the, you know, keeping your bottom of your oven clean, but there's so many other things uh, that you can use these for as well. So yeah, these are a great find on Timu for sure for four bucks. So these next two items actually would have come in really handy if I had my hands on them a couple of weeks ago. I actually made my boyfriend a very special birthday cake. Um, I made him a black forest cake from scratch and I needed to level that thing. And you know what? <laughs> Trying to get cake layers level is not as easy as it looks. And this little gadget right here would have been so awesome to have. So the great thing about this thing is it's got all these little numbers here on the side. So you just set it to whatever number you want. However, you know, thickness you're going to be cutting your layers or if you're just going to be skimming the top off to make it level. Um, and then you just kind of just seesaw it across. It's got like this little metal wire here and it basically acts just like a serrated knife. So this thing is going to be invaluable and a great little addition to all of my baking hardware. Um, yeah, like I said, I wish I'd have had this a couple weeks ago. But anyway, next up are these little scraping tools. So whenever you're making a cake, um, you know how you get the sides all nice and smooth. Well, I only had just a small little scraper. And again, I made like a four level kind of cake and it was really tall and these would have been perfect for getting the sides super straight. So they're just like, I don't know, plexiglass or whatever these things are. They are just plastic and they come in a different, you know, varieties here. You can get different looks that, to your edge of your cake. Like that one would have been really cool. Look at that, the scallops. I love that one. And then there's this one here as well. That would have been kind of cool too. 
But anyways, I think these are going to be another great little addition to my baking set as well, just to have these, um, you know, like, like once you have them, you've got them, right? So yeah, Timu is a great source for this kind of stuff. They have so many different items for baking and cooking and all the things, and you can just totally get lost on their site by looking at all this stuff for sure. So I'll be sure to link everything that I got in this haul in the description box. All you have to do is just go and click on those links and it'll also be in the pinned comments as well, along with the prices. However, I will mention that the price that you see um, might not necessarily be the price once you go on to Timu site because prices fluctuate all the time. Quite often they'll be less than what you actually see in the description. The best way to shop through Timu is definitely by downloading the app because that way you can get in on those coupon bundles. You can see the daily dollar deals that they have, get in on some just amazing, amazing deals. And what I like to do is I just put things into my cart. Um, even if you see something that, you know, maybe you think, oh, it might be a little bit too pricey for me, go ahead and throw it in your cart anyway, because chances are pretty good in a week or a few days or whatever, those prices are gonna come down and Timu will actually inform you when that happens, which is awesome. Um, but don't wait on things too long because a lot of times things will go out of stock, but Timu is great that way too. They'll even let you know when that item that no longer was in stock comes back in stock again. So. It is such a fun thing to play around with. And uh, like I said, though, it's very addicting. So be careful. So next up, I have some metal latte art stencils that are definitely going to kick my lattes up about 10 notches. Now this comes in a pack of five and these are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at the intricate design of this heart. I just think that is going to be beautiful. Then we've got this little coffee bean one and uh, this one here now I have purchased um, these little stencils before from Timu but they were plastic so these metal ones are definitely a lot better quality look at this one. Oh my gosh I can't wait to use this one uh, these are gonna just look so amazing you know sprinkle a little cocoa or cinnamon over top of my, you know the froth milk on top of my latte oh my goodness gonna look very professional and this one is another favorite of mine look at that so these are actually quite inexpensive they're a little more expensive than the plastic ones but I like these ones a lot more they're definitely gonna last for a really long time super easy to clean as well and I like that they have this little hole here at the top so that you can you know put them on a little nail or a little hook inside your cupboard um, and just yeah these are gonna be amazing and I can't wait to use these so like I was mentioning, I do have one Halloween item and Timu is an amazing source for holiday decor. Oh my gosh, I've gotten so many amazing items, Easter, Christmas, Halloween, whatever, you name it. You're going to find some really, really cool and unique items for sure. And this one is one that I didn't have. I already have the other two houses that go in this set, but I didn't have this one and I just couldn't resist. Now, I will mention that these come so well packaged because they are very fragile. Like you can see all the little intricate wooden pieces here. And this actually came separate on purpose because of course you don't want the sticking up. It would have probably broke in the box, but they do wrap these and pack these so well that they've got styrofoam kind of holding everything all together. And it was in a perfect, like perfectly sized box. So these do come really, really well protected. Now this only just has to slip back in this little hole here like that. And this actually takes two double, actually triple A, two triple A batteries. And it does light up just like the other two houses that I got. This is going to look so awesome displayed with all the other uh, Halloween goodies that I've gotten in the past from Timu. And yeah, I'm already thinking ahead to Halloween, you guys. So if you like seasonal decor of any kind like I do, you definitely want to check Timu out because there's just so many cool things to pick from. And uh, yeah, you won't be disappointed. So if you caught my last Timu haul, you would have seen me show you these amazing faux tulips. Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful and I wanted to get a few more. Now I'm only kicking myself that I didn't get a different color. For some reason I thought I had, but I guess I picked the wrong, picked the wrong box, I don't know. Anyway, I got some more white ones. Um, I'm kind of wishing that they'd have been yellow, but maybe next time I'll get yellow ones. But I will warn you, <laughs> If you get these tulips, which I absolutely love them and I think everyone should have some of these, um, when you take them out of the, the plastic packaging, they smell horrible. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> they smell terrible. But these ones have been sitting for quite some time now. I don't smell, I don't smell anything anymore. Um, but what I would suggest is when you get them, take them out of the packaging right away and you might wanna even put them outside or in your garage or somewhere else 
just to let them air out a little bit because the smell is really, really bad. I don't know why, um, but anyway, it does go away over time, so don't be worried. <laughs> uh, but these I think are just so pretty and just bring so much, you know, spring feel to any, you know, any room that you've got kind of going on. And uh, yeah, I plan on taking these ones to my office. So yeah, I just need to uh, let them air out a little bit before I do that for sure. So it was spring break around here recently and I had two weeks off of work. So I decided that I would redo my bedroom, uh, repainted everything and I've just updated a few different things, but I needed some new decor to kind of just finish off the room. So again, Timu to the rescue for that as well. These first items actually came all packaged up in this adorable, cute little box. It was all like bubble wrapped and everything. I love succulents and I really wanted to bring a little bit of greenery, but obviously I didn't want real succulents. I actually don't have a lot of light in that room, but these come in like little faux um, cement pots. They're actually not cement. They're more of a plastic, I would say, but they definitely look like cement. So you get five different varieties of succulents here. And I just thought these were so sweet. Now these would be awesome even on like a tiered tray. Uh, on any kind of vignette you might have. These would really be cute in a bathroom on a little shelf or on the counter as well. But I just thought these were so cute. And for the price, um, I can, you know, I can go to a place like Dollarama here in Canada and these things usually run about, I don't know, $4 a piece or maybe even five. So Timu definitely is more economical to get this kind of stuff from. And you know what? They actually look they look really good. I'm actually really impressed with the quality and yeah, I really, really like these. So when I was all finished painting the room and kind of putting everything all back together, I kind of realized I needed some more texture, but kind of, um, I don't know, softer color tones in that room. I've got a lot of dark things going on. And so I kind of decided that I would try to kind of play on some of these kinds of items. I actually picked up a kind of a big basket that I could put, you know, clothes and stuff in out of the same material. So when I saw that Timu had these little Kleenex covers, I just thought this would be perfect for my bedside table. And yeah, it just fits one of these little square Kleenex boxes. It even has this little elastic thing in here on the bottom to hold your Kleenex box in there nice and tight. And yeah, I think this is gonna work really, really well. Oh my goodness, how do I get this in here? There we go. And then you just put your little elastic right on like that. Voila! So along the same lines as that little Kleenex box, I also found this little rectangular basket. Now I don't plan on putting this one in my bedroom. However, I think this will be perfect in the bathroom, on the back of the toilet. You know, you could stack up a few, <laughs> a few of these and then you don't have to go digging through the cupboards. And when you have guests over, they don't have to go digging through your cupboards if they need a roll of toilet paper. So I think that's gonna look amazing in my bathroom and uh, yeah. Timu, another great source for stuff like this as well. And they do have so many different items. They've even got lamps and lighting and just all different kinds of baskets and different things. So you might want to go check this kind of stuff out because I've priced some of these things out before at like, you know, HomeSense or Winners and things like that here in Canada. And these things can be kind of pricey. So you might want to check out Timu first before you hit some of your department stores because you just never know. And again, when you get in on those coupon bundles, you can definitely save yourself some more money as well. So I've done many Timu hauls here on my channel over the last year or so, and I have received a couple of duvet covers from Timu, and I've been so impressed with the quality, how soft they are, how well they wash up, you know, the zippers work really well. Yeah, they've been great. And uh, again, for the price, you can't really beat them. And so I thought I would treat myself to one more duvet cover, because again, you know, I've just redone my room, and I thought this would be a really nice color to kind of work with, because I'm kind of going with more, kind of beiges and just creams and kind of just soft muted colors. And to go along with this though, um, I do wanna show you what this is gonna look like on the bed. But before we do that, I also got some new pillow covers because I needed some pop of color. And the color that I'm going with is green. Now, green is kind of a hard and kind of funny color to decorate with because there's so many different shades. But I wanted to get some different uh, textures and I wanted to get some different shades of green. So to start with, I found this really dark green. Oh, I just thought this was such a pretty color. It's very rich looking. And this particular cover is actually stretchy. 
It's heavy duty and it is so nice. It's got like velvet velury stuff on the back and I just love this texture, but because of what it is, it's like, it's definitely got some stretch to it. Now, this came in just a single. Um, so I actually ordered two of these and I wanna show you what it looks like once you get it in on the pillow. They're beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is very luxurious. Like you would pay probably 30 bucks for an actual pillow, but if you've got the cover, you know, the pillow at home and you wanna just get a cover, this is such an easy, inexpensive way to change out your decor so easily. If you get tired of it, you can just unzip it, take it off, put something else on, you know, like it's such a neat way to defer, to decorate your room for sure. Now I didn't stop with the dark green. I decided that I wanted to get a couple of this kind of, I don't know, it's sort of, what color would you call this? I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> I just thought this was so beautiful though. And again, this one is like a, a chenille and it's so soft. It's like butter. Oh my gosh. And it's the same um, pattern on both sides. And it's absolutely beautiful. Now this one came in a two pack. Um, and yeah, so I was excited to see what these ones were gonna look like. And yeah, I'm really happy with the quality of these. I think they're gonna look amazing on my bed. And then I have one more, I didn't stop there. So you know those little neck pillows? I think they're like a little rectangular size pillow. Here, this size right here. <laughs> um, I really wanted one of them because I thought I would, it would look kind of cool to have those two darker pillows in behind with this you know, smaller rectangular pillow in front. I thought it would be a nice contrast. And this came in a two pack as well. I don't know why, because usually you only put like one of these, I think, but anyway, it came in a two pack. And so this is what this one looks like once you've got it all stuffed. Um, oh, it again, like it's so soft. It is just like silk and butter. <laughs> it's so nice. Anyways, I thought it'd be kind of fun to just to get all this onto my bed. I'll get the uh, duvet cover out of the package and do all the hard work getting this all on my bed and then I will show you what this all kind of looks like and you know all the little items that I've already got maybe and I will um get my room all dutied up here and uh yeah take you for a little tour so here is the bedroom now I wanted to show you this duvet cover this is the one that I got previously this white one and I absolutely love it it is basically the same material as that one that I just got as well. It's super soft. It's got like these little chenille little bits here all the way around. Um, this has got kind of like a diamond kind of pattern to it. And I've washed this multiple times. Still super soft. It looks so awesome. Love it, love it, love it. And this is my new artwork up here. Anybody that knows me really well won't be surprised with the cows. I think I was a farmer in a past life. And then I got these lamps. So you can see how that little Kleenex box cover is gonna go really well with those. And then I also have this basket here. So I really wanted to bring some more of those elements in. I just think it looks so good with the paint color. And then this green throw I actually got here not too long ago. And you can see why I picked the green pillow covers. So I'm really excited to see what the pillows will look like on the bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those on. So here's how everything looks with those two darker pillows with the lighter colored one there. And I really like the contrast of those actually. I think it goes really well with this other throw blanket here that I have. Yeah, I'm really liking this look, but I'm excited to see what the lighter beige colored uh, duvet cover is gonna look like. So well, let me get that one on and we'll check that one out. And here is the beige duvet cover. Oh my goodness, I really like this one as well. They both look nice. I can't decide which one I like better. What about what about you guys? What do you guys think? White or beige? I do have another bedroom that we plan on redoing and we're gonna be doing it more of a grayish color uh, on the walls. This has got more cream color to it. So I think this one would look really good with that other bedroom. So we'll see, we'll see which one I end up leaving in here. But yeah, it turned out really good. I really like it. I looked to see what it was made out of and it's 100% polyester cold wash and low tumble dry. And that's what I did with the other one too. And like I said, they wash up so nice. It's got a little different pattern than the other one had. This one's kind of cool. It's like, kind of like leaves. I don't know, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, pretty happy with the way that looks. And uh, yeah, this is such a great, easy, relatively inexpensive way to change out the look of a room or a space um, for sure by just swapping out, you know, your duvet covers 
maybe get a couple of different colored you know pillow covers and you can just keep using the same inserts over and over again and yeah Timu's definitely got you covered for those and it's just a great source for that kind of stuff so that's everything that I have to share with you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed my Timu haul and thank you so much Timu for working with me again. I really enjoy uh, shopping the Timu site and I think you guys will too. So download that app, use my code and get shopping. So until next time, I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now everyone.